Hero is really designed to be um, a very clever VFX shot management tool and it sits really at the center of editorial, uh, finishing and VFX. It's really the hub, uh, the, the thing which bind, binds them together uh, and allows you to send shots um, to your VFX artists, to your finishing systems um, in a very clean, very easy way. Uh, it takes a lot of the pain out of uh, you know, having to create manual, uh, very laborious tasks in terms of creating you know, shot structures. Um, and it's also designed to help you review things very easily, to be able to version up, version down. Um, the example that we have is you know, being able to do a round trip with Nuke, per se, uh, and actually uh, see the different versions and the different iterations of the edit uh, as you go along, and allowing you to save the state of the edit to go back to you know, a day ago when you had a really good um, edit point. Um, and then obviously we want to get these shots out to finishing, and for, for delivery as well. So that's really what Hero is designed to take a lot of the pain away from doing these tasks and it allows you to free up your expensive uh, finishing systems, uh, which a lot of people use for doing very mundane, very boring tasks when they should be being used for being, being creative. You know, that's really what Hero is all about. Nearly everything we do is driven by user feedback through art, the artists, the people in the industry that want us to make these things. So Bruno, Bruno Nicoletti was, has been uh, you know, asked many times to, to create the, this tool like, like Hero. And um, we really listen to what people want in industry. That's what drives us, like, drives us to make these products. Um, yeah, you, like you said, it's the biggest, our biggest um, in-house uh, development to date. Uh, we've got a big team working on it for over a year now and we've you know through a very long beta process getting feedback from our customers finding out what they really want um, that's really what we I think makes the foundry and hero very unique hero um, really takes charge of the the shot management tasks uh, in terms of getting your shots out to your new your after effects your flame artists um, through these these sort of very simple uh, templates that we provide um, and it's also very open and scriptable. So if you, for example, you have a particular workflow that you need, it's very quick and easy to actually create an export task um, to send these shots out to VFX, um, to send them off to, for, for grading, for finishing. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's really designed to take a lot of the pain out of doing these very manual error prone tasks, um, which people do. People, you know, people spend, we, we, we met a company that, uh, in Toronto that, that calculated over a 26 episode series, they did 77,000 drag and drops into Final Cut. And 77,000, you know, cuts, <laughs> one second, you know, is an awful long time and it's expensive. Uh, and that's really one of the things which here is meant to take the pain away. We provide some uh, basic templates for integrating it with, with Nuke for now. Um, but we've got a very rich uh, Python API, uh, you know, to, coupled with the very good documentation available so if you have someone that is a little bit, bit python savvy it's very quick to actually get things up and running and you know people that we've met have been talking to shotgun to their existing uh, you know their fa their file maker databases um, you know their existing uh, infrastructure tying hero into that and and making the the whole shot management process work for them so i i say it's you know with a little bit of python savvy um, you're great but it also works out of the box as well um, you know it really is the sort of 2D um, VFX pipeline in a box. That's what, we, what we'd say. With Hero 1.0, we've we've targeted you know primarily the short form um, you know, commercials market, uh, the, the small boutique houses like you mentioned. Um, but also, that's not to say that it, the Hero doesn't scale to larger facilities as well. Um, in terms of you know the the amount of infrastructure that um, the smaller houses may have, uh, I think. With the Python API that we have, it's relatively simple to get up and running, um, to get going straight away with Hero. Um, and I think coupled with uh, the Foundry support, um, you know, it doesn't take a facility very long to, to be using Hero at its maximum capacity. We had a very long beta program, uh, and Jörg was very, very active, very vocal on this program. Um, so it's great to, you know, to come in and see all these emails that have, people have been working on uh, a beta over the weekend and you come in on Monday morning and you get this feedback um, and I think we're very unique as well in, in the way that we work very closely with these people to actually just drive the, the product forward 
um, all of the feature requests, all of the bugs that we log, um, we get back to the, the beta testers very quickly and it makes the product you know, better because we don't know everything. Uh, we need artist feedback and people like Jörg um, have done a grand job of providing us with really good feedback. We have things that we, that we didn't manage to fix in Hero 1.0 that we want to introduce. For example, stereo workflow has come up an awful lot. Um, SDI monitor, monitor out. Um, these are things, these are common things that come up a lot in the, the beta feedback that we have. So we're, and also Windows support is very, very on top of the agenda. <laughs> so um, we've got lots of things to do, um, but hopefully some sort of roadmap will appear um, this year, either at NAB or IBC. So stay tuned. <laughs>